Welcome to Report from the Mountains. This is Mark Bodine coming to you from the Grizz Fork Studio, a hundred-year-old cabin in the shadow of the Absarokas, in the reflection of the Yellowstone River, in the range of the Red Tail and Raven. He throws the full moon over his shoulder and rumbles across the field like a John Deere tractor, picking bits of stale tobacco from his arid lips, arms swaying in unison with the broad, rustling leaves. The crows scream his name like a battle cry. Hokahey, scarecrow, today is a good day to die. But his gray bones, like these dry stalks of corn, will stand their ground for yet another winter. Grandpa Scarecrow toes the asphalt snake, rubs his gold tooth for luck, and conjures a ride with his magic thumb. He settles back with yellowed hands on his knees as the car fills with the smell of damp straw. Where you headed, Grandpa? I ask. Home, he says. Always home. Somewhere between an endless field of morning-closed wildflowers and the bitterness of another rented room. I stand waist deep in the sea's embrace, allowing the riptide to drag me through the sand into a mystery we can know but once. Listen. The way the wind sometimes catches a dead leaf and transforms it in the space of a pulse beat into a bird taking flight is the kind of miracle one should live for. I have been told that you must never watch a bird fly past the horizon or it will take some small part of your soul with it. But what is the soul if not the sum of the flights of a thousand birds? The sea at Puerto Madero is warmer than tears, eats continually at the feet of Chiapas, is sister not to the rivers of jungle valleys and coffee plantations, but to the patient volcanoes like Takana, thunder and haze of the Guatemalan border. We spent two days climbing, crossing the path of a deadly green snake, eating pan dulce with village children, and being questioned by the Mexican army on patrol looking for zapatistas. When they find them, let each soldier fall to his knees and beg forgiveness for the last 500 years. Let them speak the names of the dead. Let their mouths be filled with the dust of the graves. Let them tear the flags from their sleeves and the lids from their eyes so they can never stop seeing what their patriotic service begets. Let this be true for every soldier, but more so for every priest of the Pentagon, every general of Wall Street, every tycoon of evangelism, Let it be true for you and me. The sound of the sea contains everything, swells out of control if we try to listen, overwhelms our capacity to hear until infinite sound becomes silence. La zona de la mar es silencio, 500 years in a single wave, silencio. History rises and falls with a single tide, Silencio. It was the children who gave us sweet bread. We had nothing. Silencio. Always another bird with eyes of ocean takes to the sky.
The crows near my home are gathering their winter murder like holes punched in the gray-white sky to show the obsidian wall behind. They trick the sun as Coyote tries to, but always gets distracted by his own dancing shadow. These being shadow have none. Their movements are silent negotiations between death and religion. Their words hold every dream of flight on the tip of my tongue. They speak and I am speechless. They sharpen the November dulled edge of the tree line and I check my cheek for blood. Boots crunch snow, heading toward the sluggish river, alone, hungry, and all I want in this life of sand and glass and thorns and bread is to understand the language of the crows. Then I will count myself among the few, the happy ghosts that sing themselves to their own untroubled sleep.